honored that you're here spending a few minutes of your morning with me. I am um, just about to jump on my exercise bike and this has really been on my heart for um, the last few days and I wanted to kind of share it with you guys. I don't know about you, but I've looked at the opportunity and earnings disclosure statement of doTERRA. Um, they have the 2015 is on Google. Hey, Tammy. And thank you for telling me your name. That is really, really helpful. And I, um, I, I had this burning question as I was looking at the opportunity disclosure. Disclo I, have, I have had my coffee. I guess apparently I need one more cup. But uh, hey, Sarah. I had this burning question of why in the world do only 7% of people in doTERRA hit diamond? Why, why is it that only 7% of um, people building this business hit diamond? And I'm curious because I love this business and I feel like it's relatively easy. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and talk about that a little bit because there are things in it that have been extremely challenging. But the actions that you do in this business are pretty simple. Um, and so I've been pondering this question for probably a year now. And it hasn't been until recently that I have come up with my own reasoning as to why only 7% in this company hit diamond. I've, you know, as a blue diamond in doTERRA um, with thousands and thousands on my team, I've seen people start and quit start and fail and i wonder what is it that sets those people who hit diamond the two percent that hit blue diamond and the under one percent that hit presidential what is it about these people that makes them so special right because i feel like there's nothing special about me um and i've met some of the wonderful diamonds and blue diamonds and presidentials and i feel like they're just normal people so how were they able to create this um, empire and create this big, massive growth in, you know, on their team? And so I have been reading and rereading. I read this book three years ago, The Slight Edge. And I, um, this one part really, really stuck out to me. And he's talking about what millionaires do and you know there's millionaires that have no college education there's millionaires that literally have been beach bums and have gone from nothing to something and then there's millionaires like that are secret millionaires that you have no idea and so he talks about what what is it that they did and it's so simple guys they mastered the mundane they mastered the mundane actions um and we've seen it happen again and again, and not only on our team, but everywhere, um, that when you learn to master those small, um, those seemingly insignificant actions, you will see that once you're able to do that, that you, it's, there's nothing mysterious and there's nothing complex. And it's the same thing in this business. There's nothing mysterious about diamonds and blue diamonds and presidentials. There's nothing complex that they did. They're a massive creators, but what they did was master those mundane actions, those small things day after day, after day, after day. Um, those actions is actually what is going to create success for you. And so the, the beautiful thing about it is they're actually, you know, this is what I kind of have related it to. I'm about to jump on my bike. I don't like exercising at all. Um, anybody else with me? Just, I just don't, I don't like it. I'd rather go garden. I'd rather go hang out with the farm animals. I'd rather go throw hay. That's pretty much what I consider my exercise. But but I've got to get better. I got to get my heartbeat up um, because we don't all of a sudden become obese, right? We don't all of a sudden um, at 55 have a heart attack um, because of cholesterol. It's those choices 
that we make every single day. It's those choices not to have that fast food, that fries, that cheeseburger. It's those choices that we make every single day. And now the thing about it is I asked myself the question, why don't we all do this? You know, if we're all able to, to get to the rank of diamond and above in doTERRA, why don't more people do it? And so here is kind of like the three reasons that I've, I've found out, okay? Um, how hard is it to put a few dollars away every week, right? And so in this book, there's this theory, there's this allegory, I love it, about a frog who jumps into a bucket of milk. And guys, this would totally happen at my farm. I leave my bucket of milk laying around, and I'm sure a frog can jump in at any time. In fact, when I'm filtering my milk, I have found all kinds of little critters that have jumped into my milk. And these two frogs jumped in, and they were swimming and swimming and swimming, trying to get out, and one of them said, this is pointless, and he gave up and died and sunk to the bottom. And the other one said, no, there has to be a way out of this. And so he swam and swam and swam and swam and swam and swam. And he was going to find a way until suddenly he put his foot on something. Butter. He had just curdled the milk and churned it into butter. He put his foot on the butter and he jumped out. He did not quit. He found a way. And so it's very similar to that. And the same for food. We think about putting something in our mouth. It tastes good. And we think, oh, it's just one day. It's just one meal. It's just one snack. But those choices add up over time. And all of a sudden we find ourselves, guys, I've been there, 20 pounds overweight. And we ask ourselves, how in the world did we get to this point? We made those bad choices. Okay, so how... What, what is it? So if, if, every, if this is so easy to do and, and we can be diamonds and blue diamonds and presidentials, why doesn't everybody do them? That's the $10 million question, right? Compound effect. Here's reason why, number one, that we don't do this, okay? Reason number one is they're easy to do. So the, the, this, is, this is simple. Simple things that lead to success are easy to do but they're also not easy to do so it's easy to save a few bucks every day but it's easy not to so it's easy to do 15 minutes of cardio on the bike over here every day walk a brisk mile or two truly it's easy to do or not um, and so while anyone could do these successful things most people don't simply because it's so easy to skip them. And the tragic irony of it all is, is that it doesn't actually end up making your life easier. So you choose not to do it. All right. So we're all doing simple things anyway. Unsuccessful people just choose that what they think is the path of least resistance. But it really isn't in the long run. So... People who make lots of money, they read books that grow their personal development, right? And people who are broke, sometimes you'll see them reading fictional books. Whereas if they would put 10 minutes a day and read personal money business development books, they could practically become successful. There is, you could stout, I mean, we've seen this case in case again, where you can start from the ground up being successful. Not only this business, but in your health, in your finances, in all of your businesses that you have going on. So the difference, here's the difference between the two different types of people. It's your awareness and your understanding and your willingness to apply this to your life and to your work. Um, and so you have to get comfortable with doing the mundane activities. And this business, they are mundane. They get boring. You get tired of them sometimes unless you actually are applying them into your strengths and you're using your strengths in your business. So me personally, I love one-on-one, -on -one, but I don't like talking in front of a bunch of people. 
I can talk on Periscope because I feel like I'm just talking to myself and there's flowing hearts. So I'm okay with that. But getting in front of a big group of people, I don't like doing. And if I was forced to do that day after day after day, I probably would quit. Or I'd just have to force myself to get better. So I love one-on-one. -on -one, and you'll find me doing lots of one-on-one. -on -one. So everything that you need to transform your life, your finances, your health, your marriage, your relationship with your children, it's easy to do, but it's hard to make those choices to do it each day. It's easy to become healthy, fit, and vibrant. Vibrant. It's easy to become financially independent. It's easy to have a happy family and a life that's rich with meaningful friendships. It's just a matter of mastering the mundane daily actions and tactics that go along with that. So, but we know it's not just easy to do. The simple, insignificant activities compounded over time will either improve your life or they will not improve your life. And so we see that in this business. If you're not doing the mundane activities, presenting, enrolling, inviting, closing, one-on-ones, membership overviews, business overviews, enrolling builders, enrolling people, over and over and over again, that is what gets you to diamond, that gets you in the 7%. You have to do that in your way over and over and over again. There's no secret to this business. You will hear the same thing from everybody who has hit the rank of diamond and above. It's the same thing over and over. It's a choice that you face every single day, every single hour, every single moment of your day. You either choose to make a simple, positive change to take those simple, mundane action steps toward your goal, or you make an error in judgment and you don't do them. And over time, there's a bad habit that forms. And over time, you can't grow. You're stuck at a rank. You're falling back in a rank. And that's why, is because you've chosen to stop doing those daily actions that need to be done in order for you to grow your business. Now, here's reason number two. The results are invisible, okay? The second people, reason why people do not hit diamond in this business is because the results at the moment don't add up. And you cannot see over the horizon, all right? The frog did not see the butter right away but he got in that bucket of milk and he churned and he worked and he struggled and he whipped up that cream and he made that butter day after day after day after day so the things that create success in the long run they don't look like they're having an impact at all on you in the short run right um a penny doubled is two cents big deal take two buck take $2 a day. Take $2 a day and stick it into savings instead of buying that expensive coffee from Starbucks. All right? Two bucks, that's a cheap coffee from Starbucks. I know some of you guys are spending five bucks a day on your caramel, grande, whatever, frappuccino, and instead you're, you're choosing something that you could be putting away into savings. All right? Take that. Double it, it's nothing. Take it, double it again, 20 bucks, nothing. Double that, 40 bucks, nothing. Over time though, you double that every single day, it starts to grow. That's how you become a millionaire. You choose at the age of 23 to put $250 into a Roth IRA, and by the time you're 40, you have a million dollars, all right? This has been proven over and over again. You starting a little late, Hey, it's better to start late than to not start at all. All right, so the results are inv invisible for right now. The frog had no idea that it was going to be creating this butter. Um, and so why do so many of us still go out and buy that cheeseburger and french fries? Why do we still go out 
And why do we still buy that Starbucks even though we have no money? I'll tell you why. Because it's not going to kill us. Not today. Not tomorrow. Probably not next week. Probably not the week after. You know, and the same with our business. We decide not to go out and teach a class this week. It's not going to hurt your business this week. Maybe not next week. But next month, the month thereafter, that's when you're going to start hurting your business. And then you get into the repetition of, it's not going to kill me right now, so I'm going to do this. This cheeseburger is not going to hurt me right now, so I'm going to eat it. But that's what happens over time. You make those decisions that are unhealthy, and then all of a sudden, you're 20 pounds heavier. All right? Um, it's the same with your health and your diet, your exercise, your financial habits, your doTERRA business, your marriage, your personal life. You don't say I love you right now to your spouse. One, what's one day? All right. You don't say I love you the next day. All right. Two days have gone by. You haven't told your spouse you love him. All of a sudden you're in a habit of not saying it. And that's where you call marital, marital problems can be caused. The same with your children. You choose today that you're going to play on your iPhone after they get home from school. You give them their iPads and everyone's content right now. It doesn't kill your family right now, but over time, that's where the problem is going to start. All right. I'm super passionate about this. I'm sorry. Um, your spiritual life as well with anything and everything going on, that is where you're going to get the problem, all right, is when you choose to make that mistake over and over again. But when you make the right choice, you don't see the results. Not today, not tomorrow, um, maybe not even the next day. But the difference between success and failure is so subtle that you don't even recognize it through the process. And here's how real success is built, guys. By the time that you get the feedback, the real work's already done. By the time that uh, you see your results, the results already, they've been there and the real work's already been done. So you're working on it right now in the thick of it. And that's why we have to keep going, all right? Because we are doing something positive. It isn't, it is going to kill us if we don't continue. And we're going to kill our business if we don't continue to keep moving in the right direction. Number three, they seem insignificant. The third reason that most people don't live out their entire lives without um, ever grasping how this could work in their life, because, in their lives, is that it just seems like those little things really don't matter. So you skipped a day at the gym. What's a day? What's the fuss? It's just a cheeseburger. But the difference between success and failure is not dramatic. That's the hardest part of it all. The difference between success and failure isn't dramatic. In fact, it's so subtle and so mundane that most people completely miss it. They may not even realize that they have a philosophy, but they do, and it goes like this. What I do right now doesn't really matter. That's your philosophy. If you're, not, if you're not making those st daily action steps, doing those daily tactics toward positive change. What you're saying right now does not matter. But here's the truth is, it really does. What you do today and every day does matter. Successful people are those who understand that the little choices that you make matter and because they choose to do the things that seem to make no difference at all. All right. And that's where we have to choose to do the mundane. All right. I don't want to be that person who at the end of my life, 20, 30 pounds heavier has some kind of, you know, thing going on in my health that I could have avoided by just exercising and eating right. I don't want to be that you know, that person in doTERRA who quits because I quit doing the mundane, the boring, the things that I didn't want to do. I don't want to quit doing that because if I do, not only do I miss the mark in my, my dreams and my future and my vision, 
but I can't even imagine how many people's lives that I won't change because I've chosen to not do the mundane. So choose the mundane task. All right. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Go back to how you achieved maybe some huge goal that you had in doTERRA in your business. What was it? Did you have a goal of hitting silver? You knocked it out and you did it in six months. Maybe you did it in three months. Maybe you did it in a year, but you've hit that rank and now you're stuck. Like you have no idea what to do to move on. You have to go back and do whatever you were doing that caused you to hit that rank of silver. What was it that you did? I can tell you right now. I mean, it's the same. You were presenting, you were enrolling, you were closing, you were doing one-on-ones, you were doing classes, you were helping builders get launched, you were sharing in your community, you were handing out samples, you had a vibrant love for essential oils. And somehow you lost that because you got stuck in the boring and the mundane. But that, my friends, is what's going to get you past your stump that you're on. Keep doing the boring, keep doing the mundane, find those action steps that you once did, go back to that and do them again and do them over and over and over and over again. You're not gonna be able to see what's going to happen right away. You're not all of a sudden going to hit your next rank. It might be weeks, it might be months, it might be years, but those daily disciplines and action steps is what is going to propel you forward in this business. I didn't do anything different to hit diamond. I didn't hit any, I didn't do anything different to hit blue diamond. All right. I shared with my network. I presented essential oils to my network. I did classes. I did phone calls. I hustled. I wanted it because I saw my personal vision for my family was more important than those mundane tasks that I had to do. I didn't care. I would do anything and I would do it all over again to achieve my dreams. All right. So that's the attitude that you guys have to have. You have to do anything. You have to be willing to do the boring and the mundane tasks so that you can achieve your dreams and you can create your own butter. All right. And your way of getting out. So that's it, my friends. I hope that that was encouraging. And uh, once again, it is from, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, The Slight Edge. Um, this book will change your life. So go out and get that book, The Slight Edge. Guys, it's amazing. And, uh, and I love it. And I'm going to go jump on the bike because it's easy for me to not jump on the bike. But, uh, you know, just like we said, those those, those changes that we make every single day um, is what's going to make an impact on your life. So thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. Feel free to share this scope, as always, with your teams, um, your friends, your family, whoever you might want. Bye, everyone.